study the menu, the ingredients, their sources, table numbers and positions. It's basically the story about Tess, um, who I play, who moves to New York and gets this job that she thinks is temporary and a safe place to wait. And it ends up being this job, this environment, this new city, the people, all of these factors which end up um, sort of making who she is uh, and building up to the person that she really wants to be. I was going through like a really funny time in my life and I got the first line of the character breakdown came, came through and it was like, Tessa's life is a shambles. And I was like, oh, I relate to this. So I got, uh, I ordered the book straight away just because I thought it was something that I, I would enjoy. Um, and I've read it a bunch of times and I'm still not bored of it, which is like big because I've read it so many times, but it, it's, it's just relatable and great. And it makes, makes you feel um, so many things. There's so many people. I never got to work in a fancy restaurant or anything. I would have loved to, um, but I worked in a pub and even, like now I have a newfound respect for anybody that works in like, in serving, in, in restaurants, waitering. It is so tough. I was behind the bar, but we, w we had food as well, but we would bring the food from the kitchen and put it on the, the pub and call out a number and then they would come and get it themselves. So I really had to, it was like minimum effort. I was much better at like pulling pints and then waiting for a second, chatting to my mate and then pulling more fine. I mean, it was very relaxed. Apart from match days, that was that was intense. That was the only real experience I had of like high intensity demand and that, yeah, that's pretty anxiety making.